We're joined at midday by Miss Charlene Patton with the Kansas Soybean Commission, and we've been cooking all morning. And right now we're making turkey tenderloin with miso apricot preserves. But we're not using turkey. You can use turkey tenderloin or... A pork tenderloin. A pork tenderloin. So we're using pork today. So I thought it'd be easy to... Fun to show that you could use either one like that you it. can find in the grocery store. When you purchase um, the pork tenderloin, mm -hmm. two of them come in a package. Yeah. So you'll want to use one of them and then save the other one uh, for the n another meal. That's but good. This is an easy recipe and so delicious. Look at that I over know. there. That looks amazing. It smells even better. So I've got our apricot uh, preserves in here. Yep. And then you're going to add the miso, okay. and that is just fermented soybeans that's going to give it okay. a little bit of extra flavor. Oh, it smells good. And then we were just talking that, shall I yeah, get that off? Yeah, because you know how I feel about waste. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but we were talking that in the Soy Foods Guide, there is a glossary. So if you're ever wondering what a different yes, uh, soy ingredient right comes from, yes. Now, I want you to... And it's to, free that's free. You will salt and pepper okay. that. And I'm going to take out some of this apricot sauce that we've made here okay. that we're going to serve with it. Okay. And the rest of it here. Oh, whoa. Oh, that, you're doing that was good. <laughs> you did good. It's going to be salty. It's not heart healthy when Jared <laughs> makes it, apparently. We'll put on our meat here. And you just want to make sure that because we're putting it on here and then touching the meat, yep. this will be separate. So that's okay. why we took it out ahead of time. Okay. Just brush that. Look how good that looks. It smells so and good. And this is so easy. Look how many ingredients. It is. Like three ingredients, Jared. And put this in the oven at 400 degrees. Yep. And bake it for about 30 minutes. Okay. And you'll you want to use your uh, meat thermometer. Yes. And for turkey, it want you want an internal temperature of 165. Okay. For the pork tenderloin, 145. Oh, and that's good stick to know. it in the thickest part. Take it out and let it sit for about rest.